This is the future. Future. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and shout out to all my new subscribers that just came in this month. It's about 32 plus of you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I uh, hope you will enjoy your stay. Uh, if you haven't been grossed out by the previous video, well, good for you. So, um, if there's noise, the kids are a bit rowdy, they're in the house, so there's nothing I can do about that. So our project now for today, quick quick, is to fix my table. So it's this table on which my monitor is standing, or TV. I've got TVs, I don't have monitors, I've got TV. And uh, the problem is the legs are uh, flimsy. Look at this. This whole thing is shaking everywhere. I'm just scared one of these legs are gonna give out and I'm gonna have the whole thing collapse. So I've got some some extra wood and uh, I got an idea the other day so I wanna test it out and see if it works. Stick around, let's do a quick DIY. Well the obvious first step was to measure the distance between that leg and this leg and obviously this leg and that one to make sure that the wood I have was long enough for what I wanted to do. And then I had to go and get all the screws that I'm gonna need. So my first, or oh, well, second, third step now will be to remove everything off the table so we can turn the table upside down. Let me pack all the stuff off and put it somewhere in this tiny little room of mine. Now this is my sound system. I don't have a computer, speakers and sound like that. I've got a nice amp and two nice big 10 inch speakers. Give me excellent, perfect, great sound. So let's see, see how this leg is not doing straight. Uh, okay. Look how much this leg is moving. This whole table is bloody flimsy. It's like that leg wants to come off. And it seems like this table there as well is giving a gap when I move it. So I'm going to see how much, how we can fix this table. What I am going to do now is I am going to measure from that inside of the leg to that inside of the leg so I can get a uh, distance and then we're going to go and cut the first length. You guys remember the palisade project? I still had wood left from the palisade project. So uh, what we need to do is we need a length, our first length of 90 centimeters. Because remember South Africa, we're using metric, so we are working in millimeters and centimeters. I have no idea how much that is in inches and so on. Uh, you can use a conversion program to work out how much that is. Correction, it was 590, me being a bloody idiot, 590 in total. So we're going to make our first cut there. Okay, so unfortunately the remaining piece is hopefully fully too short. Even if I move it up a bit, it's too short. So I'll only be able to support that leg and that one. Oh, who knows, maybe that will already make a big difference. I would have wanted it to do it, I wanted to do it um, three ways. But it seems I'll only be able to do the two there. Then we'll see, maybe we can do something else to make it a bit more secure. So let me just go and sand off those two pieces a bit, just to get this uh, rough edge off. And then we'll come and put them in. Okay, now I've sanded off these planks a bit to make it smooth. And now we're going to choose the halfway mark and we're going to Insert them here between the two legs, and uh, that should definitely make a, a big difference. So, I'm going to get uh, my uh, drill to make two little pilot holes and my level so we can make sure that it's going to be level. 
And then I think I want to see if I can get um, something else just to secure. Well, let's first do that and then we'll see what the rest of the table looks like. Okay, for you guys who already know me, you know that I'm very bad at being a perfectionist, but I'm trying to be there. So I'm going to measure, let's say we're going to take it uh, 15 centimeters in, get the center, make a hole, make another hole, do the same on these two, and we're going to measure the length of the leg, get the half, drill a hole, put it in, okay. So that's my my next step. Okay, so we measured the length of the leg. We got the middle, and now I marked it there. So now I'm gonna put up my first plank, use a level, and put them in. That's it guys, the first leg is in. And it's already a bit more sturdy. We'll make a plan now at the bottom. It's a shame I didn't have the third length to put in there, up to there. That would have made it 100% better. Okay guys, so this leg is in, that leg is in, and I found out why this thing is moving. Uh, the screws that were in there, that kept the, the rest of the table intact, is missing. We've got screws there, all around, I just made sure they're all nice and tight. So I just have to replace those two screws. Then we should be having a good sturdy table again. Wow guys, that's it. Put a screw in there, screw in there. I didn't have an extra one for that one hole, but that's not the issue. Check this. It's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Now I definitely have more confidence in this table. Like I said, still have a little bit of play there. I would have loved it if I could have a, another one in here for that extra extra bit of support but this is already like 80% better than it was so let's pack everything back and see what, what it looks like there we go guys definitely a much more sturdier table than what it was a few minutes ago now we can put some stuff on this table that's it guys look at that huh with some weight on it, it almost doesn't move. It's got a little bit of movement still, but I mean the TV is wobbly. But yeah, this looks pretty good now. Sorry for the light. Yeah, this looks this looks awesome. It looks like it's part of the table. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Till next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.